All right, well, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Ryan Gavatorta. I'm the assistant AD for media relations. And thank you all for coming here today. Now, this is a, a really, really exciting day for the athletic department and the university as we welcome our new women's basketball head coach, Chandler McCabe, to the RMU family and team. Now, before we get started, the athletic department would like to thank the following for being here today. University President Dr. Michelle Patrick and her husband, Ron, a huge influence and mentor to Coach McCabe, George Mason's head coach, Vanessa Blair Lewis, and Brian Stanchak from the BDS Agency. Now with that, uh, I'd like to turn things over to Vice President and Director of Athletics, Chris King and Coach McCabe. We'll start up with a few words from Chris, and then he'll pass it over to Coach McCabe, and then we'll take questions from the media. Well, good morning, everybody. Today's an exciting day for RMU Athletics and our women's basketball program. On behalf of the Department of Athletics, it is a pleasure to welcome each of you to today's press conference and meet and greet to officially announce our new head women's basketball coach and welcome Chandler McCabe to the RMU family and team. Our number one goal was to run a national search uh, in a quick but efficient time frame and include our search no later than the opening of the infamous NCAA transfer portal. The head women's basketball coach opening was a highly coveted job nationwide with a deep pool of candidates due to the academic reputation of RMU, the history of competitive excellence and success uh, with RMU Athletics, and of course the ability to recruit student athletes to this uh, tremendous facility, and most importantly the ability to win and compete for Horizon League Championships and NCAA March Madness. After a little over a month coaching search, uh, including hundreds, and I mean hundreds, of phone calls, text messages, and emails, you name it, I'm happy to say we have found a tremendous leader uh, for our women's basketball program. We would be remiss if we didn't thank a number of individuals for their assistance uh, during the search process of our new head women's basketball coach. Our search committee and advisory group uh, consisted of three main individuals, Marty Golosi, Senior Associate AD, Chief of Staff, Kim Graham, Deputy Athletic Director, Chief Operating Officer, and Andy Chul, Head Men's Basketball Coach. So I wanna thank each of them uh, for all their advice and vetting through the candidate pool. I'd like to personally thank Bowlesby Sports Advisor Search Firm and CEO and founder Kyle Bowlesby. He was truly a key partner in every step of the search. We moved quickly and Kyle provided feedback ensuring we made the right decision uh, in our hire. I wanna thank and recognize Kyle uh, for running a very disciplined and now successful search process. His uh, coaching search experience and network in our industry paid great dividends in our research of candidates and ultimately in the hire of Coach McCabe. I also wanna personally thank our president, Dr. Michelle Patrick. Her support and advice throughout this process has been measurable. Uh, she spent quality time with each of our final candidates and her vision and ability to articulate the future of this university helped enable athletics to land uh, our next head women's basketball coach. And so thank you, Dr. Patrick. Most importantly, I would like to thank Lisa Hernandez, Mary Fecco, and our human resources department for a uh, very efficient search process. And I'd like to thank Daniel Seipold, our assistant legal counsel, for his assistance in the contractual uh, negotiations. And I look at uh, Brian sitting up front. And so we spent a lot of time together the last couple of days over the weekend. Um, you know, from the start of the process until the final negotiations, uh, both our human resources and our legal counsel uh, serve as key resources and, and, like I said, a very quick and efficient uh, search. So, after conducting a national search, we identified our number one candidate and we got her. Uh, she has a proven track record of being part of building uh, Division I mid-major championship level programs, including serving as an associate head coach uh, at both George Mason and Atlantic 10 and at Bethune-Cookman and mid-major championship caliber women's basketball program. Uh, her combination of experience, professionalism, passion, preparation really stood out to us as we looked to move our women's basketball program to new heights. Uh, selecting Coach McCabe uh, as our new head coach sets the course for a new era of success in all phases of our women's basketball program. She's been a part uh, of championship level basketball her entire career and she also was a division one student athlete and team captain as a member of the Providence Women's Basketball Program and she's gonna bring that type of competitiveness to RMU women's basketball. Coach McCabe knows how to win uh, at the Division I mid-major level, including being part of numerous 20-plus win seasons, conference regular season and tournament championships, and postseason tournament bursts. She has a proven track record of success, uh, having worked for and played for multiple outstanding Division I head coaches, and her experience as an outstanding coach herself, recruiter, and a mentor of young women has prepared her for this opportunity. Coach McCabe is considered one of the top recruiters in our industry, and she's been in charge of recruiting at both Bethune-Cookman 
and George Mason. She plans to bring an exciting brand of basketball featuring a fast-paced offensive style and a defensive attacking style of play. Coach McKay was someone that we targeted, and she came highly recommended from the highest levels of women's basketball. I've actually known Chandler or known of Chandler for several years now through multiple industry professional development programs for assistant coaches that aspired to become head coaches. And I will say she did a wonderful job of leaving a lasting impression on me as she was my first uh, phone call upon starting our national search. Coach McCabe's clear vision to elevate the RMU women's basketball program was evident from the beginning of our process. She was quite passionate and enthusiastic in our discussions and her desire to become the next head coach for RMU basketball. So when we're looking for qualified head coaches, head coaching candidates, we search for individuals who have been around great mentors and teachers and leaders. And Chandler's played for, she's served, and she's learned under some of the best coaches in the industry. Uh, it's evident the influence that Chandler has had on her mentors as she assisted one of the most reputable head women's basketball coaches in the game today, Vanessa Blair Lewis, head coach at George Mason, who is in attendance with us today and has taken time to be in Hoop Township to support Chandler, even though she's days away from a first round postseason game this Thursday at Penn State. So it does show you the type of relationships that Chandler has built in her family tree when a head coach is competing in postseason, takes a day off from practice, spread her team's tournament, to be in attendance and support of Chandler on her first big day uh, as her, it's her first head coach opportunity. So thank you, Vanessa, for your support of Chandler, and we're thankful for your mentorship over the last 10 years, preparing her for this opportunity to be our next head women's basketball coach. And I'm getting to the final here because we want to hear from Chandler, but Chandler's skill at uh, developing women's basketball student athletes and leaders uh, will allow us to meet what our goals are for our program, you know, which are to compete for Horizon League championships, and to participate in the NCAA March Madness. She is a high character individual that brings a strong value system to our program. Her competitive success, her vision, and her values are what make her an exact fit for the next chapter of our women's basketball program. So at this time, we would like to introduce to you the next head women's basketball coach at Robert Morris University, our newest colonial, Chandler McKay. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you to any and all members of the media and appreciate all future media and coverage for Hoop Township. This is an exciting day. I'm not sure words can express just how excited I am to be the head women's basketball coach at Robert Morris University and soon be a resident of the great state of Pennsylvania. First and foremost, I'd like to thank God for guiding me through this life on a path that has led me to this exciting day. I'd like to thank my family for your unwavering support throughout my career and my life. My grandparents, Wanda and Frank, who are much more than grandparents to me. My father, Carl. My siblings, Melissa, Casey, and Corey. My sisters-in-law, Carla and Casey. And my nephews, Jacob, Carter, Caden, and my incredible aunts and uncles and cousins. I love you guys so much, and I'm sorry I'm leaving Orlando so soon. My mom, Wendy, I wish you were here but I know you can feel the excitement from up in heaven. Thank you so much, Chris King and Dr. Michelle Patrick and the rest of the RMU staff for providing me with this opportunity. I recognize your confidence in me to lead the women's basketball program at Robert Morris and know that I will work every day to live up to that trust. Thank you to my agent, Brian Stanchek, who is way more than an agent. Your guidance and support through this process means more to me than you know. You're the best agent in the business and you're an even better person. Thank you. To me, coaching is first and foremost about mentoring young women in ways so much bigger than basketball. To that end, I wanna thank the coaches who have mentored me and whom I wouldn't be here without today. Thank you, Satya Messer, for awarding me with an opportunity to learn and grow while also being close to my family. I know you're watching. 
the whole staff at UCF, Coach T, my time in Orlando wouldn't have been nearly as fun. Thank you, Shauna Green, Mark Kellogg, Aaron Dickerson, Casey Bailey, Jill Thomas, LB, Pierre Curtis, and all of my coaching friends. You all can expect a lot more phone calls from me in the near future. To my friends, Carlos, Courtney, Jen, everybody that uh, held me down in Orlando, uh, thank you for being a sounding board and always for your unwavering support. Now, there are mentors and there are mentors. And I need to take a special moment to recognize a woman who I owe my career to, and I cannot look at you right now. <laughs> Vanessa Blair Lewis isn't just a role model to me, she's a giant in this industry, a trailblazer, an amazing sister, wife, and mom, and one of the best friends I could have ever asked for. Thank you for believing in me from day one. I would not be here without you, and I stand on your shoulders today. Ingrid, I'm sorry my dress doesn't have enough red. You're the best friend of me I've ever had. I'd like to acknowledge the young women on the current RMU roster. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being there for one another. Thank you for your commitment to this university. I look forward to building relationships with you all and helping you continue to reach your potential off the floor. Just know this, I'll work as hard as I ask you to work and bigger and brighter things are ahead. Today is an exciting day. Starting today, we're gonna to develop stronger bonds with the Pennsylvania AAU and high school programs and players to ensure Robert Morris is a destination for the top players in the state. I have already spoken to John Tate and, and am excited to recruit his program as well as other local area programs. We're gonna lock down the best talent in the city of Pittsburgh and we're gonna keep home talent home. Finally, to the Robert Morris fans and supporters and the Moon Township and Pittsburgh communities. You will be what fuels this team. You will be the beating heart of this program and I'm looking forward to being a part of these communities starting on day one. My expectations for this program are sky high. There is, this is a very competitive program and I'm a very competitive person. And there have been a few top teams in the Horizon League lately. I fully expect to be in that conversation in year one. This program has been there before and I know we can do it again. We're gonna play fast, we're gonna sit down and defend, and we're gonna be incredibly prepared for every game that we play. We're gonna work hard throughout this process to become the best versions of ourselves on and off the floor. That means in the games, that means in our classrooms, studying basketball and studying academics. Every young woman that comes through this program will be better for it. We're gonna win a lot of games, but we're gonna prepare these young women for life after basketball. Those are my promises. I could not be more thankful for this special opportunity for me and my family to join the Robert Morris community as the next head women's basketball coach. This is an exciting day. Thank you guys. Okay, we're going to open up the floor for questions for Chris and Coach, and just please state your name in the outlet you are representing, and then for former players, staff, fans, um, feel free to stick around for a meet and greet with uh, Coach McCabe after media. So. And, and before we get to the questions, I would not be a very good athletic director if I didn't say that season tickets and courtside seats, premium seating are all available for women's basketball starting today. And uh, you can see Rob Goodman uh, or uh, any of our ticket folks or go up on uh, rmucolonials.com to get your season tickets today. So we're looking forward to next basketball season already. Sorry, I had to, I had to throw that in there. I got my president here. She expects me to bring in a lot of revenue. <laughs> okay, questions. Go right ahead. Yeah, I really, uh, thank you for being here, Colby. So I, I really enjoy players that are really versatile, that can kind of play a lot of different positions. Um, defense is gonna be first, I learned that from Vanessa. Um, but, but versatility on the offensive end, that three level scores, efficient players, you know, our percentages need to go up significantly. Um, but players that wanna be here, we want the players that want to be at Robert Morris first and foremost, and that's how we win championships.
Great question. Yeah, I want to be a perennial mid-major powerhouse in 10 years. I'm, I'm really thinking about tomorrow, let alone this year. Um, but 10 years, you know, I, I would like to be a household name. I want people across the country to know Robert Morris as a, a powerhouse in the mid-majors. Um, you know, there's been a, a couple of teams that have been really, really high on the Horizon League recently, and we want to be just like they are. Yeah, I don't know coach, um, so it's definitely a process moving forward to figure out. So um, looking forward to that process, but I, I have not met him, so. <laughs> um, basketball is basketball, it's an indoor sport. You know, I, it's funny because I was talking, it was like 88 degrees and it's snowing today, but I'm pale, right? I'm not outside ever. I work a lot, I'm a workaholic. Um, so basketball is basketball, it's in a gym, it's a 90 foot court and you know, uh, but you know, Orlando is my home and I have a lot of ties there and I do expect to recruit that state, um, but we're really focused on Pennsylvania in this area moving forward. All right. Anybody else? All right, well, thank you all so much for coming. Um, if you would like to uh, chat with Coach McCabe, she'll be up here. If you'd like to talk to Chris, he'll be over at the gray uh, backdrop to my right. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody.